my slightly traumatic dip into the salt water this morning, we've travelled to Bahan to the home of John and Kerry Ann Fitzgerald of Atlantic Irish Seaweed. Now the reason why we're here is because seaweed is known to soothe and has even cleared up psoriasis. So first we're going to go down to the seafront with John to look at the different types of seaweed, collect some up and bring them back here to fill up a bathtub for me to have a seaweed bath. We'll walk down here now, just this first part is tricky. We're standing over, it's called bladderack. This is completely uneven now, so just take your time and kind of try and get used to it. We're only going just a small bit further. So I'm gonna harvest a bit of that. Sustainable harvesting means you cut two thirds of the plant, the sharp knife or scissors. And what we do is we give it a little whack to get the wrinkles and welts off and then into the bucket. After filling up a couple of buckets, we went back to the house where I sat down with John to have a quick chat about how we got into working with seaweed. There was a book brought out about 12 years ago by a lady called Prani Rattigan, who's a doctor up in Sligo. That book became an international bestseller and kind of jump-started um, a revival on seaweed use, not, not just in Ireland, but worldwide. So that kind of made us look more and then we just started buying every single book and yeah. going to the shore more and more and more, researching, eating, cooking um, and experimenting. So John, this seaweed bag here, this is what people can buy from you, that you can, they can have their own seaweed bath at home? That's right, they turn their own bath into a spa treatment if you like. So it comes in a net bag, like you're buying three lemons in the, in the, the shop and um, that's, that's so that you don't spend the evening picking the bits of seaweed out. Mm. You simply have your bath and then tear the bag open and throw it out in the garden where it becomes perfectly perfect fertilizer. Okay. And why is it that this exact seaweed? Why do you use this one? This one has the highest um, amount of oils and gels of all the seaweeds. Um, you'll see there if um, if you give that a squeeze and lift up, you can you can see the oils and gels attaching to your fingers. Oh, it's yes. quite incredible the amount of oils and gels that come out. See, like aloe vera gel, the texture of it. This makes aloe vera gel look like a bucket of sand. And what is it about the oils and gels that kind of rejuvenates the skin? Well, so um, the skin is the largest organ in our bodies. Um, it takes an awful lot of beating from clothes, from pollution. The oils, gels, vitamins, minerals, trace elements all get absorbed across the skin membrane. So when you have a bath in this, it all goes in, if you like, through the hair follicles and through the skin. And so the seaweed doesn't just kind of treat the skin, it kind of goes deeper to the skin then? It goes right through, yeah. Um, rehydrates skin and hair, relieves psoriasis and eczema, alleviates arthritis, muscular pain and rheumatism, um, increases blood, blood flow and it also dissolves um, and eliminates toxins. Whilst I tested out my culinary skills, John and Carrie Ann were hard at work preparing my seaweed bath. The oils and gels released into the water by the seaweed created a thick liquid that felt very soothing on my scalp. It's crazy how much calmer my scalp feels and I don't know what it looks like, but it definitely feels so much calmer. I'd be interested to see now if the redness has gone down because I know behind the ear was quite bad before we got in. So maybe I'll have a look in the mirror now and see, but it definitely does feel like it's improved.